Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth with Live Simple, Live Free. And I just haven't been in very many videos lately and tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I wanted to just wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and get a chance to talk with you. Um, I've been kind of out of sight for just a little bit now. And uh, so I've been thinking about Thanksgiving and first of all, Bill and I both uh, truly appreciate you guys. You are so loving. Um, the prayers, the um, the loving comments, just wanting to be a part of our lives. Um, I just think it's such an amazing thing and it's truly a blessing. And there's so much that despite everything <laughs> that I know that we have to be so thankful for. Um, I'm grateful to be with some family tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm grateful I don't have to cook the turkey. <laughs> um, my dogwood right outside here um, is doesn't have any leaves on it, of course, now. But what a beautiful tree that is, even in the winter. And because of just the faithfulness that God has built into our beautiful world, I can know that come spring, it is going to be covered with the most beautiful white flowers everywhere on that beautiful tree. Um, it's nice to know that there are things that just that just happen that are beautiful and they're a blessing. <laughs> um, I really have to be honest that my greatest area for me of gratitude, of thankfulness, is knowing that no matter what happens, um, I'm, I'm safe and, and I can trust the presence of the Lord, the presence of God, of God and Jesus through the Holy Spirit in my life, no matter, no matter what, I, they never, it, the Lord never leaves me. They never leave me, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And um, I feel like I'm getting stronger and I, there's some things I can do better now and do more of. And, um, you know, no matter what happens, even if it's kind of sometimes tough for a while, God is the source of joy. God is the source of peace. God is the source of hope. He is the, the rock that, um, that I know I can stand on and that we all can stand on. I was also, the other night, we built a fire in the little wood stove. And I was just thinking how wonderful it is, all the amazing, powerful things that God has given us, um, the incredible power of fire, um, the power of, of water. Uh, there's so many things that are just mighty and powerful like that. Um, fire brings warmth, heats the whole house up, brings beautiful light. It's entrancing to watch. Um, it's the source of so much of the energy and the warmth that we need in our life. And God made it to be a very powerful thing. But I'm also grateful that He can help us to know how that should be contained. That if we just do things the way they're meant to be, then fire stays um, in, a, in a beautiful wood stove or outside in a, you know, on a, in a, in a beautiful uh, campfire or in the power of the sun. All these powerful things, but when, when water is contained and it's so important and useful to us, when everything stays within the framework that God has intended, it's very, very wonderful and valuable to us. And it's such wisdom to trust that God knows the best way to handle and to treat so many things in our life. And a, a fire that's completely misused and out of control is so destructive. A wall of water that's out of control is so destructive. But all these things that God gives us, when they are put within His, His 
framework within his control the way that he knows they, that they should be it brings us such blessing and it's so such a good thing in our life and I don't know if I'm expressing myself really perfectly but I've just been really thankful for his important wonderful helpful boundaries that we can live within and find such joy and avoid such sorrow and such destruction so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you I'm thankful for my family I am thankful for so many things that can bring joy and I'm thankful above all with all my heart that Jesus is my Lord and that his guidance is there so that no matter what happens in life my life can find peace within his presence and by just listening to him find the the joy and the purpose and and avoid despair even when things seem really hard and dark because he will faithfully watch over us like a shepherd um, I, I want to be a wise sheep that listens to the shepherd so that he can take me to the best places and I'm not going to find myself going off the side of a cliff. <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. And I'm not a very good singer right now, but I'm just going to close by sharing a chorus that I just love. And I just pray that you will have a time of, of thankfulness and a time to maybe enjoy some good food. Um, I pray that there'll be people that you can be with and that this whole this whole special day tomorrow will be one of genuine thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free. Thank you, Jesus. Bill and I love you and we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you soon. Be blessed. Bye-bye.